literally a lifetime later i'm finally gonna like finish off treatment fighter because i literally never did a recap on episode 10 and that's not really much to even really like say about the episode it was the finale i don't really even have any notes i just have like a couple of things that i want to like say in this video but boom like let's like let me finish this off for you guys so i guess like a little recap Boom, boom, boom. Um, Blue play six, so they so they didn't get to battle for their spot in, in the finale. And Lady Bounce and Manny Queen had to battle it out. And Manny Queen ended up making it to the finale. So we get our final four. Bebe, Jim Republic, Manny Queen, and One Million. Boom, we get to the finale. We get introduced to the Global Artist Mission with Lady Gaga, um, Rihanna, Beyonce, and Ariana Grande. So, boom. So, so, we're at the finale. Um, I'm basically just gonna, like, say, like, how I, like, how I felt about the performances. Um, first, let's do one million. So, um, I, I, I liked it. It, it was what I, what I expected from one million with the, um, global artists. Um, I'm gonna do, um, global artists first for each group. But, yeah, it was, like, it was good. Not really much to really say about it. I think that the ponytail choreography was cute. That's really a lot to say about that. <laughs> Boom. Bam, bam. Um, it was cute. Um, they said that they wanted to like show like like another side of them. Um, I mean, I guess they kind of did, but it was okay. <laughs> it was literally okay. Um, Jim Public, I absolutely love their Beyonce choreography. Um, they showed us a preview, like, the day before the, the finale even dropped of each crew, and, like, in, in, like, the little clip, it didn't do justice for the whole, like, routine, so, Jam Public did their big one, I absolutely loved it, beautiful, and Manny Cream, Manny Cream really stuck out to me in, in the finals, like, they literally put in their work, they were like, we didn't do our big one, I feel like, 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 I could definitely feel like they probably was like, let's like let's live without regret so i feel like they like like they really put in their all for both of the songs i absolutely loved their own lady gaga performance it was a yes for me boom then we have the um ending credit was to me basically is like do what you want or i guess it's like like i guess it, it should be like i mean like i feel like they want to like portray it as like leave like your footprint and i'm like whatever but yeah um one millions choreography well routine i was it was okay um one thing didn't really like stick out to me in the finale i was like mm. and then um babies they had the mask um oh like i don't like a little controversy came out because apparently people were saying that like they copied off somebody but then people were like i've seen like like a lot of people do this already which yeah i like i've definitely seen like a performance with, like the mask i don't know where but it's definitely something that i've seen done before um i don't really care it's just like it's imminent imminent is not like a world-class thing where it's like that serious for me it's like it's not like they're, they're, they're getting a grammy and it can be revoked like yeah people were mad and i was like it's honestly whatever um general public um, so General Public, they used the same song that they used in their, um, Mega Crew for Latrice's section in the Mega Crew. Um, good reason. They literally came up with, with the interview saying that they had to make two routines in 13 hours. So, I see why they went that route. Because at first I was kind of puzzled. I was like, I kind of wish that they would have, like, did this, something else. But it makes, perf like, perfect sense. They, they didn't even have a day to make the, um global or the ending credits so i was like this whatever manny queen absolutely did their big one manny queen has just been so underrated to me all season like y'all need to get my girls their flowers boom and that's really that and then we get the um, final we get our winner which is Bebe. um second was jim, jim republic then, then it was one million and then it was manny queen um my feelings on this um, I like hand like hands down if the international like if it was like a global voting, Jam Republic would have won. Like I see nothing but Jam Republic on my timeline. Like even now, 
it's been like two weeks since the finale. People are still doing their, their own choreography to other um, stuff. Like they definitely left their left mark on the season. I feel like to me personally, when I look back, like I like I feel like when I look back to like shoot women fighters season two, I'm gonna think of Jim Republic. So boom. Um I was like I felt nothing. I genuinely thought that one million was gonna win. I didn't know that, that, that baby has such like, like a strong fan base. So that so that kinda knocked me off my feet. Um Mandy Queen got fourth as expected. They were done dirty all season, they got evil edit. Um I feel like, yeah, I feel like, like a lot of people are, like, not forgiving how, like, Red, Red Lake was portrayed in the earlier episodes. It's a competition. To me, um, to me, Red Lake is a star. Like, honestly, like, I like when, like, someone is just, like, like, I feel like, I feel like she's, like, she was really passionate. But it's, like, sometimes she was kind of, like, passive-aggressive. But it was absolutely good TV. Like, you gotta say it. It was good TV. Honestly, if you feel any kind of emotion towards someone, it's good TV. Like, anything that can, like, make you stuff out of reality, it's good TV. So, I feel disappointed about that. I do feel like with the whole Red Lake controversy, everything that happened with Red Lake, I feel like Manny Queens, like, was, was doomed for a downfall. So, boom. But, yeah, that's really, like, the, the finale. Now, just some thoughts of the season i really do enjoy this season um i was like trying to rank the seasons i'm not sure if, if i prefer this season over season one i think like i think yeah i think i prefer season one more than season two season one just was like it just felt more competitive to me to me this season like it's like we got like our little catty moments but then people complained about it so i'm like I like when, like, there are arguments. I like when it's, like, it's really, like, competition. And it's just, like, oh, you know, like, it's, like, it's hard to explain. Like, literally, I remember, like, on the first episode when, um, Yuji, Yuji was, like, come out, Kirsten. Everybody was, like, dogging her. I'm, like, girl, this is good TV. Like, I don't understand. But I'm just so glad that Manny King made it to the end. Manny King was robbed, um, period. The fact that they were able to make it to the finale is honestly a grace. Um, to me, Manny Queen was like my all day. So I really wanted Manny Queen to like be up there in rankings so I can get my lick back. Because I am still mad about all day. I want them to come back. Boom. Um, I would love for them to make like an all-star season with like even like the men. Like, I want all the crews, because dance is dance. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, Street Man Fighter. It can be Street Fighter. Ooh, it can be, like, Street Fighter. Yeah, it can be, like, Street Fighter All-Stars. It can be something good. All that needs to be there. Mandy Queen needs to be there. Tuba Kill needs to be there. It's It needs to give something. I don't keep wanting Prime Kings to come back, because Prime Kings really was good TV, although they went home first last season. I'm here for it. I literally miss Nux. Nux was like like one of my favorite characters in the whole season and I barely even got to see him. So yeah. Um but yeah that's really how I feel. Um now I'm just gonna like name out each group and then just like get my opinions on a group and boom. So Wolflow. Wolflow to me were so entertaining. Like I feel like they always just had like something slick to say and it was so funny to watch. I literally love Yuni Cho. I am a stan. I follow her. I love her. I love Choco. Um, Baby Sleek is a star. Halo is a star. They're all stars. I love Wolf Lo. Um, with like my idea of like all stars. I don't feel like Wolf Lo was really robbed though. Like I feel like they made a good run. So I feel like they left their print. And that's what I'd say about Wolf Lo. Um, Bebe, I underestimated them from the beginning. Um, I I actually, like, in my um earlier videos, like, the preseason video I made, I ranked the, uh, I mean, I <laughs> I predicted who's going to be in the final four, and I got it all right, except for Bebe. I figured that, that maybe Wolfla would be in, in that final four. So, Bebe was, like, literally under the radar. Like, I did not clock them at all. 
even with the final four, I thought that hands down one million was gonna win. I thought that one million had a stronger fan base based off views, because one million seems to always have like the most views um up there with with your public and baby, but I, but I but I just thought that one million just had like, like a a more solid fan base, but I was I, obviously I was wrong. Um baby is good. I love Lusher. Um Lusher is definitely is probably my favorite um member of the crew. She's a star. Um yeah. Baby did her big one. Um she's definitely gonna get more opportunities. Um I feel like baby is, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like Beta Lee is literally going to be, like, a staple. Like, she, she's going to be up there. She's going to be a superstar. Um, a lot of other girls, like, like, other girls, um, like, yeah, they're all mentoring, um, Beta. But, I feel like, literally a couple of years, they'll be able to do that real well. Because, because they're all really young. Like, I think the um, youngest, um, so we in the her name, I think she's like 19. So she has years to go. Next we have Jam Republic. Jam Republic is my love. I love Jam Republic. Um, this whole season, I didn't have a group that I rooted for, but literally after the season ended, I've been not stop playing Jam Republic's battles and videos and routines. Cause I don't know, it's like, I feel a void of not watching them, which is crazy. Cause like literally like, when like the season was live and airing, I wasn't even like a general public like stand. Like I enjoyed them. I really wanted them to make it to the end, to the finale. I, I the whole season I thought like they had a spot in the final two. It just kept switching. I thought that it was gonna be Manny Queen and, and general public to the end, and it really wasn't. But boom. Um. But yeah, I love them. Every member I love. I like. I can't say I, I like one one person more than the other. Every person left their print. They made the the season like so much more like I feel like they made like the season better. Cause like imagine if it wasn't like a global season. Like say if like they did Korean Cruise again. So if like two kill and Jim Pump were scratch, I feel like this season could have been like very lackluster. So they added something. Like they added a little spice. Then boom. A lady bounce. Lady Bounce, I love Lady Bounce. Um, definitely misunderstood. Um, I feel like in some parts, then yeah, Lady Bounce has a lot of fans, but um, a lot of people, I like, I've like, I've read people were like, um, they're not really strong in like their like genres. Like, how Nob does Afro? You look at Latrice, Kirsten, other people who do Afro, and you're like. She needs, like, she's, like, like, compared to them, she's, like, an elementary student. But Lady Bells really did, did their big one. I do feel like, I mean, like, they, like, I'm, I'm going to say this. They've been a group for 15 years, but I feel like, I feel like they need to, like, change it up a little bit. I feel like some, like, some of their routines were always, like, like, very, like, skittish. Like, it was, like, a skit. And I wish that they just had, like, more, like, dance aspects. And they were to return. I would love to see them. Hopefully, they make more, like, suitable routines. Because, honestly, the only routine that I feel like was, like, really, really strong by them was their K-pop mission um, routine. So, boom. And I hate that we didn't get to see Naro. Like, I feel like every member had their moment to shine but Naro. So, I said what I said. Next, one million. Um... I genuinely, um, one, <laughs> one million is there, like, they were, like, they weren't one of my favorite crews of the season. Um, their mega crew was the best one, like, within, like, the franchise of Street Woman, or well, Street Fighter, Street Woman, Man, whatever, Street Girl, all that. Their um, mega crew definitely was the best out of all that. Um, I said it constantly, I mean that, um. They're, I mean, they were a solid crew. Um, I, I, I don't really have much to say about one million. I'm sorry. If you, if, you, if you're on one million, you say people are like, girl, say something else. I like they really weren't my cup of tea, but I see why they made it to the end. So, boom, Manny Queen. I'm gonna get a whole rant with Manny Queen. Manny Queen is misunderstood. They're underrated. They were done dirty. They were dragged. They did not get their right placement. I'm going to say that off right top. There's no way Manny Queen should have been fourth place in this season. At all. 
But um, Mega Queen was done dirty. Um, I definitely feel like they dealt with the backlash of Red Licks, like how Red Lick was portrayed earlier in the season. Because honestly, when I go back and look at Negative Constant Manny Queen, it's about Red Lick. <clears throat> it's never about Yuji. Literally, I got in an argument online with someone because I like I like I, I posted the um Kristen come out girl and they were like oh they got bad attitude and then I was like Yuji has a bad attitude like what are you talking about but yeah I shut I, I shut it down because Mary Queen like they were they were robbed like you cannot tell me like Mary Queen and Super Kill were robbed this season um it's a miracle that Manny Queen made it to the end like they did. But I genuinely felt like they should have been in the first and second spot. Um, I feel like, I, 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 like, I genuinely feel like Manny Queen was the only group that gave Jam Republic a run for their money. Like, it like it could have been a Jam Republic steal if, like, Manny Queen wasn't there or if they went home earlier on. And I stand by that. Boom. Next we have Deep and Dab. <laughs> deep and Dab. Um... Deep and Dab, to me, um, I, I, I know, I like, I really want to keep it positive, but, but, but my little jab at them is going to be that with the crews this season, Deep and Dab did not do their big one at all the, the whole time they were, they were on the show. To me, their routines were always lackluster. It was missing something. I wish they would have utilized the locking, um, Locker Z in the routines more. Um, I'm like, I'm not sure how, like, the, like, dance practices or like the routine making was like functioned but I don't I, I feel like it could have been more like 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 it seemed like they lacked like the teamwork in that aspect but that's that's deep in that um for a positive I absolutely love JJ and Downey um Downey to me was just like like her straight face just like was like the best thing like Donnie just did not care she was like like I still think about like when um Mina was crying and, and Donnie was just like like she was like girl you're crying for what JJ absolutely hilarious um I still follow JJ even after the show she's doing workshops she's doing really good I love JJ love JJ um boom tuba kill Going too soon, um, I wish that they would have stayed in an extra week, um, in the competition. Um, Momo, like, I, like, I'm really a Momo stand, and I didn't see much of her. I'm still a Momo stand, and, yeah, um, speaking, they released their American Crew mission, like, really a couple of days ago. It was really, really good. I wonder, like, how that was, like, constructed. I wonder if, like, I, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the, the cruise. Um, boom. But some other like things that's just coming to mind. Like I know, like I'm really doing this in like the spirit of the moment. Um, let's talk about the smoke challenge. Literally, I feel like the smoke challenge is literally like the most controversial challenge there is on the internet. Like, like why were some fans telling their idols not to do it because of like the dance moves, like. It's hard to like pull off like like that walking step in the smoke challenge. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. But literally, idols were getting called out left and right. It was like absolutely the like the funniest thing to me. I'm gonna leave a link to a video I saw on TikTok that is absolutely funny. Like it's, it's like it's like a, it's like a compilation of idols doing the um, smoke challenge. Literally so funny to me. Um, but yeah, like Lily Beta made the most controversial um TikTok challenge ever. Cause literally like idols are like persuaded to not do it. So yeah. Um but yeah, that's really it. I cannot wait for it. Now, um there's a yeah, there there's some us I wanna talk about with the whole streak off fighter um it's not really a spin-off, but I'm going to talk more about that in my streak of fire that I'm about to literally film, really probably, like, right after this. But, yeah, um, there's some to you. Not, like, not all crews were called back, um, to participate in Street Girl Fighter as mentors. 
which I am absolutely irritated by this. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not liking any of this. I'm gonna get more into it in the um, street girl Fighter video. But yeah, um, that's really it. Um, let me rate the season for one to ten. The season it was good. Um, we didn't get much drama. We got jabs. I like I like drama. I like fights. So we didn't get much of that. The um the only crew that was really consistent to me was Jam Republic and Manny Queen. So I wish it was a, like a like a little bit more fierce in that aspect. So out of a ten, I get this season like a five or a six. Um but yeah, it was a good season. Um but I just really like like the first season more. So yeah. But yeah, that's all I want to say. This is the recap of episode 10, although it's really not a recap. But I'm going to title it as a recap because I don't like, like I need to finish where I started. But yeah, peace. I will be working on a um, Street Girl Fighter video. Literally, I'm, like, I'm about to film it in like, a couple minutes. So I might be wearing the same shirt in that video unless I do tomorrow. But boom. Yeah, leave your thoughts on the season if you're interested in that in the comments down below. I love to read opinions. And boom, peace.